Holy cats, we have got a lot to accomplish today and it is already, most of the day is gone. It is six o'clock in the evening and uh, we've got a lot to do before the night is through. First off, Olivia is doing dishes, Cody is going to dry and put the dishes away and feed the dog and that is their assignment in the house. I am outside the house and we are starting another project. My lawn is cut right now to a mere seven eighths of an inch. That is teeny, folks. That is so, so low. That is not as low as I would like to get it, but that is about as low as I dare take it right now. But it is that low because we are going to sand and top dress it one more time this year. But in order to do that, you have to prep it a few different ways. First course of action is to thatch the lawn. So yesterday I raked it with a power rake and thatched it and got a lot gone. I also have bicked the lawn so it is uber uber low, super dry, and now we are starting step number two, which is to verticut the lawn. And I recommend you do it when it's 90 degrees outside because heck, what fun is yard work if you're not sweating your guts out? I'm sweating off pounds by the day. I have verticut my lawn and what you're seeing is like two inch wide little grooves. You can't tell, but it's actually gone this way, the last cut, but the first cut went this way. So they're actually little squares now, but the top coat kind of shows it the best. Now I have to clean up all this excess grass. The reason you want to verticut this lawn is because you want to create a spot for the new seeds to grow. That's right, I want more grass to grow in because my lawn is different types of grass and I want to dominate it with Kentucky bluegrass and ryegrass. We call it the Colorado mix here in Cache Valley and uh, it's a pretty good seed. It's really gonna help out and it's really made the difference. I can already tell last time when I vertical cut the lawn, it was so bumpy, it was so arduous. It is still a lot of work pulling that thing as you can see from the sweat ring here, here. Cody thought lady had peed on my belly but I was like, nope, that's my belly sweat. Thank you for embarrassing me like that. But this time it was a lot easier verticutting and I, I can't believe how much better I've made the lawn feel uh, by doing this. And honestly, it's working. It's totally working. And best of all, I have Bonnie's approval on this. She says the yard looks and feels nicer. So if she's happy with my hobby, then I can continue my hobby. I am very sweaty. That is a lot of work, but I am very happy that we're doing it kind of in the evening. I should have done it in the morning because that would have been a little cooler, but at least I've got the shade of the tree. It probably looks like it's light outside, but all of my landscape lighting is actually on currently, which tells you it is past dusk, which tells you it is very much past the kids' bedtime. But if you can see that power jam going on over there, those kids are rocking out to the little radio in that car and it is not the newest Miley Ray Cyrus song. It is not Old Town, whatever that song is, something, Old Town Road. It's Queen. They're my children. It is Queen they're listening to and jamming and rocking out. finish the rest later. Can you help me bury that wire? Hmm. What's this wire to? Oh, a little more landscaping lights for these? Yes. Why do you ask? Because Bonnie's gone and she can't say no, so that's what we're doing. See that sweat? Yeah. It's good sweat. I think I've sweat more in the last three days than I have in the last four weeks. Hmm. And that's with working out every day. It is so hot out here. What you got there? Oh, you pinned the dog in. I bet you she can yank that thing. You think? Yeah. Look at me. Alright, you hold it there. Tell me if it, she stays there. Oh, don't. Yeah, there you go. Hey, bud, you're doing a pretty good job. I'm gonna get it just a little deeper, okay? Not much. You're doing a pretty good job. No, I can do it. You're doing a pretty good job. I'm just gonna help you get it a little bit deeper. Well, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Well, if this whole setup looks a little familiar, it is because we are dumping another 10 tons on my lawn. For some reason, the last time I did this, I thought I only did 10,000 pounds, five tons, but no, 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 he's like, no, no, that's five tons of sand right there, 10,000 pounds. And now that I say that and think about it, I'm like, oh yeah, every trailer load was 10,000 pounds plus the load of the trailer, which is 3,000 pounds. So every time I take a load out of Jack Parsons mill, I've got 13 to 14,000 pounds 
behind my truck. That's a little scary to drive. A car pulled out in front of me, I was just like, what are you doing? And I do not lay on my horn. I never honk my horn, because I'm just like, it's not necessary. This guy came barreling in front of me, and I thought, I can't stop between my truck and this trailer. That's, we're 20,000 pounds, 10 tons coming down the road at you. I would have just plowed into him and I almost did, but I was like, had to let him know like, hey bud, you gotta think about your actions here a little bit more. Enough of my soapbox, we got sand to move because we got things to do today outside of this. So much crap going on. Where do you wanna ride? I wanna ride in there. Okay. Okay. There you go, you better sit down. Or stand up and hold on. Something. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Hey! Halfway through this thing. stop that, pal. <laughs> this ain't my house. I didn't see you were coming in my house to help me. I know, I feel I feel a little guilty about that. That's so why I was like, no, you just, you just hang out at your house today. Come stop by and get some footage. Yeah. That's all the heavy lifting you need. day three, four, five? I don't, I don't know how many days I've been doing this. Look at that beard. I trimmed my beard last night and I trimmed it a little bit too shallow. So I look like I've just got an overgrown shave rather than Dad, sort of a beard. Happy to see you. Of course she's happy to see me. That dog loves me. <laughs> That's my four wheeler dog. You wanna go ride on the four wheeler? The backyard I believe is kind of buttoned up. I didn't go that heavy this year cause I don't want to wait four weeks. Yeah for the recovery time, but I am feeling some of the low spots heavy. If you look, you can clearly see that it's darker right here as opposed to around here, which mean, which tells me I've got a low spot right in the grass right here. Yep, low spot right there. Lady, you found it, good girl. So these spots I am intentionally like stuffing more sand into to try and get them to, hey, no, I gotta put it in there. Ladies, stop, get, the rest were just top dressing nice and lightly and it's really coming out good and even Cody's helping me today. scenario on a top dressing weekend is it rains and it has been raining for the past few hours it rained all last night rain is good for your grass it's awesome but it's terrible for the sand the sand doesn't want to settle down but luckily how we threw the sand down this time I think it got settled down pretty well we'll just have to keep working it down each day that it's dry but as you can see sand is down it's pretty thick it's pretty heavy um, but it is definitely making the yard feel better it's not thick it's not thick well that is how you top dress lawn. That is how you prep it and finalize it and finish it and everything else. Now we just have to wait for the final results. So I will post that video when it is available. Until then, you will just have to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and then you'll have to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see the next video in the next few weeks. Give it about three weeks and I'll probably have an awesome update video with everything nice and mode. Thank you so much for watching. I know this isn't the normal video for Bonnie's channel, but it's my video. It's what I wanted to make, so it's what I did. Anyway, see you guys, bye.